Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabbatu fillah from the most important affairs that we need to give attention to in our lives is the affair of the heart. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that those who receive Jannat and Na'im who will be comforted in paradise will be those who meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a qalbun salim, with a healthy heart. So that shows us a habitatillah that from the most important affairs for the mu'min to pay attention to is the status or the condition of his or her heart that that is one of that is what is going to distinguish you as a mu'min as a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that your heart has surrendered to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you have been favored with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala wa taqullah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taqwa habitatillah is that you fulfill the commandments of Allah and you avoid his prohibitions and from the hadith or a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which also illustrates the importance of a sound and clean heart a heart that's pliant a heart that is surrendering to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a heart filled with tawheed correct understanding of who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is is the hadith in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said inna fi jizid mudgha idha salaha salaha jizid kullu wa idha fasada fasada jizid kullu ala wa hiya qalb the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said verily in the heart is a morsel, uh, verily in the body is a morsel of flesh. If it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. And if it is sick, then the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart. So, this hadith and the ayah we referenced they show us the importance of giving ihtimam, giving that deserved attention to one's heart, the status of one's heart. That simply making a claim that, a per, that you're a mu'min, you're a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're this or you're that, you're from Ahlul Sunnah, that that's not sufficient. Al-ibra bi haqaiq lisa bi musammiyat. The reality of something is in its substance, not in its name or its claim. So we have to actualize our ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, exercise our hearts, free our hearts from jealousy and envy and evil and hatred and those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala detests. And we have to fulfill our hearts with those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a qalbun salim. So how do we get this qalbun salim? 
How do we get this clean or healthy heart? We achieve this ahabba, ahabba tefillah, by increasing our ibadah, staying in the book of Allah, and staying in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's a simple formula, but often it's hard to actualize because we're, our hearts are so fulfilled, are so filled with so many other distractions. So we distract ourselves, we test ourselves, we open our hearts to that which is displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which clouds the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It clouds those things which will bring us to the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So meaning we busy ourselves with amura dunyawiyah, these things, these affairs of the dunya. And often we busy our hearts with muharramat, and that prohibits us coming to Allah and coming closer and practicing and doing those things which will clean and exercise our hearts. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with clean hearts and help us to incline towards Iman. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.